Hey everyone, it's uh, Pup Twigs here from Orlando, Florida, and joining me today from Ann Arbor, Michigan, is Pup Dirtbound. How are you? Hello, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Awesome, awesome. Well, first thing I always like to do is learn a little bit about the origin of your pup name, and also if there's any significance behind the colors that you picked for your pup hood, which I love, by the way. Um, so, so I'll turn it over to you. Let us tell us about your name and about your hood colors. Sure. I think, let's see, the easier one to explain first is, I guess, my colors. Um, green is my favorite color. And my second favorite color is pink. So um, I wanted to sort of stick with those colors and, I wanted something that sort of stuck out, you know, something where like anybody can see me from a farm. They're like, okay, I know that. Pup. So that's why I sort of chose the more vibrant colors. Um, they sort of also speak more to my vibrant personality, I guess. Um, that's why I chose that, you know. And once I started with a ordinary gray hood from Amazon, I then got a sort of refurbished green hood from Mr. S, and then I decided to you know, get my own customized hood because I felt like I wanted to really express who I was through my own design, through my own colors and my own sort of like facial features. So, you know, that's what I decided to do. And then in terms of my name, my name um, is Derp Bound, which is a very interesting name. I usually go by Derp because it's much easier. Okay. You know, I've been told that Derp Bound is sort of a mouthful. <laughs> but... um. <laughs> But um, there's two aspects to my name. So Dirt Bound, um, Bound because Bondage was my introduction to kink. So I think um, Bound sort of like also explains that Dirt because I have a pretty sort of silly derby personality. So sort of put it together. But then I'm a big fan of this Japanese game called Earthbound. Uh -huh. And I really wanted to incorporate that into my name as well because like when I say I'm a fanatic of this game, I mean, I'm a fanatic of this game. So, like, it really sort of stuck out. And I think it was Dirtbound was my video game username on my Switch. So, I've sort of been using that for a while. And then when I finally decided to go into pub, um, the pub community, I wanted to choose name. This is what I sort of rolled with. Well, nice. H have you ever been to a glow party yet? No, but, you know, a lot of the bars that we go to and a lot of the events usually have, um, like, dark lights and things like oh, that. So, like, lights. I was going to say, I am glowing. I do, and I love it so much. It, it, yeah, I'm sure it's, it's, it's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. So how long have you been in the pup community now? So um, I actually started pretty recently. I want to say that. I've been a pup for three years, and I've been in the community now for about two years. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm not from Michigan. I'm originally from New Jersey. Okay. Um, so then I hear, I'm here. I am in Michigan because of school. And once I knew I was far away from my mother, <laughs> that didn't have to worry too much about her. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think she'd be very uh, – she'd be surprised if she found out that her um, son identifies as a dog. So, you know, sort of her oh, for her own – for her yeah. own peace of mind, you know, I decided to explore a bit more out here, and I'm so happy because, you know, I've now been able to fully express this side of myself, and it's so much fun to do. Oh, that's awesome. That's always good to hear. So, so with you being in the community for, you know, a few years, what have you found to be the easiest part of being in the community? And then what have you found that's been a little more difficult? Okay. Um, I don't know. It's, um, I can only, I guess, speak on my experience and sort of uh, what I went through, especially, you know, being new pup. I think, like, the easiest thing is to, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's easy, to be honest. Um, It's sort of, I think, the first step. It's always the hardest step and when it comes to anything 
Yeah. So I think once you just go out and like attend a pub event or just like go out to some sort of kink event and really like put yourself out there, even if you're nervous, if, if you're sort of like, worried and scared, like once you take the first step, everything sort of just rolls. And I think that's um probably, I guess, the hardest and the easiest step, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, because, you know, when I started, I went to my first pub event out in Pontiac, Michigan. It was called Liberty Bar. And or that's the name of the bar. And sort of like all night I had my hood on because I, I didn't want people to look at me. I didn't want people to sort of like know who I was in my hood. <laughs> and it was just so so scared and nervous. Um, I had no idea what I was doing. But I met so many pups. Um, we sort of, you know, they came up to me. We talked and things like that. And I sort of started to become and be like, okay, I'd like to, you know, do that again. And I, and I decided to sort of attend more and more events. So it's sort of like a snowball effect in some sense. Um, so I think definitely like the hardest and the easiest step is to just put yourself out there and just like go to an event or like ask around and sort of like there's no harm to doing that. Okay. All right. Well, if you had the ability to change something about our community, what would you want to change? Um, hmm. so I think our community, like any community, isn't completely perfect. There's definitely things that, you know, um, people still talk about, people still, people still sort of, like, deal with. I think there's, um, in the sense of what I see, like, sometimes people are a little too critical on why you have to be a pup. Like, yeah. I don't think there's a specific reason why somebody should be a pup. I think if anybody has sort of a headspace for it or a curiosity or an interest, they should have the full right to sort of go on and explore and sort of see what that's about, you know. And once they sort of get a taste of it, and if it's for them, you will see them sort of like flourish and continue. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, being a, a pup of color myself, you know, I feel like uh, I don't really see a lot of um, pups of colors um, within my community, um, at least here in in Michigan, you know, I, I, um, the, I know a select few pups of color, and sort of mm -hmm. I wish um, there'd be sort of more of that. And whenever we go to, sort of, I, I will, now that I've gone to sort of um, some kick events like um, MIR, and I've gone to um, I, IPDC, um, and even later on, I'll be going to MIR. I love that I, there are these sort of pushes towards and meetings for either people of color or pups of color. Um, yeah. So that's something that sort of like, it's very nice to see in the community where like people are making sort of an effort to, you know, um, talk about that and sort of like um, get those people together so that we can sort of, you know, keep in touch and things like that and sort of talk about sort of like our experiences and things like that. Yeah, all right. Well, I, I definitely uh, hear you on that and stuff trying to get more and more people to our community. And that kind of brings me to the next question is, what advice would you give someone that is just now wanting to get into being a puppy? Um, what advice I would have to say is um, to to do it. Um, I think that there's no reason why one shouldn't, you know, go out and explore and try out something new, you know. Um, you know, you lose, you know, they always say you lose 100% of the shots you don't, you know, throw, you know, yeah. and it sounds kind of cheesy, but it's definitely true where, like, if I had never gone out that first night and sort of, like, gone into this, you know, where would I be mm -hmm. if I had never sort of, like, you know, made the effort to sort of, like, get to know the community a bit more, you know, I wouldn't be where I am now. So I definitely think that it's important for people to go out and sort of just, like, explore that, you know, have fun, you know. At the end of the day, we're all just people in masks. Um, so I think, like, it's an, in a sense, like, to go out and have fun instead yeah. of explore this whimsical side of what it is to be a pup or a pet in the community. So I think that's some, something um, I encourage. And also, I always tell, like, people that I talk um, who, you know, on profile see me and they're like, oh, you're a pup, that's very cute. You know, I, I'd love to try that. But I don't have a hood. And I always tell them, you know, you don't have to have a hood to be a pup. Yeah. I think it's sort of like pups put you in a headspace, but it's not necessary. Now that I've become more comfortable um, with who I am and being in the community here in sort of Michigan, I don't, um, I, I I wear, uh, I remove my hood, uh, you know, I advance, I sort of like show my face more. You know, it's always like a learning thing, but 
in the beginning, if you're comfortable to just go out and explore and yeah. talk to pups, I think that's very nice um, as well. What kind of things bring you the most joy out of pup play? <laughs> I do. Yep. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, I, it's just something about being a pup that's so much fun. Um, it's, you know, I love animals and the fact that I can identify as a pup, um, you know, I think it's it's very fun. Yes. You know, I have I have a I have a uh, I have a daddy, so he's um, you know, my 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 leather daddy, and he you know has assigned me to be uh, a lap dog just because I like to you know I love the attention, so I guess that's yeah. what it is about me. So it's just something about. I always say that pups are like the jacks of all trades because they can honestly do it all. They can be like mm -hmm. rubber pups, leather pups, you know, bondage pups, alphas, betas, omegas. Um, you know, they're we are so versatile in a lot of things and we like literally can do anything in my mind. So I think that's why, you know, it's like why not be a pup? You know, it's it's awesome. so fun. <laughs> I, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I think so too. So well, what is being a pup done for your mental wellness? Ah, uh, in the good or the bad? <laughs> well, I, hope, think, I mean, go ahead. That's oh, fine. Nah, I think like is this, um, being a pup, um, you know, I think in I think everything has its pros and its cons. Um, in in like in myself, like I am so happy because like for my mental health, it has allowed me to just um be free and just like you know i don't have to think about like my job when i'm a pup i'm just a pup i'm just a dog i don't know anything exactly. about reading or work or <laughs> i just know how to bark and play so okay. that's what it is but then you know um and the reason why i say like um maybe maybe it's just me um i guess the only con i have is that like i have so much going on in my life currently in terms of like activities in terms of like uh, my school in terms of being a title holder in terms of like events happening so like I try to do so much and so many things that you know I need to learn to sort of like reel it in and sort of like take time to like really separate things and like know when not to do too much yeah. because you know I'm trying to be really involved in everything but also I, that's not the reality where I can do that so to me it has been one additional thing to that I've had to add to sort of who I am in my life, if that makes sense. Okay, all right. Well, what do you like to get out and do there in Ann Arbor? What kind of hobbies do you have around the, the city there? So Ann Arbor is one of those places where there's a lot to do, but nothing to do at the same time. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, work usually keeps me busy. I'm a graduate student, so, you know, it's a lot of sort of like working that I do on the weekdays. Yes. And then on the weekends, I like to spend time with um, my daddy out in Detroit. That's where he lives. So, you know, you should spend time with him mm -hmm. there. On my own free time that I have, I like to do sort of like video gaming. I like to, um, I love going to thrift stores. I love just like exploring, oh, look at what kind of sales. And things thrift stores in Ann Arbor. Oh, absolutely. Uh, here, yes. You know, just just recently I had to look for some sort of suitcases. I found a nice suitcase. And even this suitcase that holds like suits, it's like specially designed for suits. Mm -hmm. And 10 bucks, I took it, I grabbed it. I'm also like obsessed with Hawaiian shirts. Like I'm not wearing one now, but like, I have so many that like, you don't know if that's a 70 year old man or me in a Hawaiian shirt. Like it's <laughs> like, I love them. So like I explore here, I go to like out in like Royal Oak, there's like, the upscale neighborhood, so sort of where you can find some nice stuff. Yes. Um, and I have to explore and just look around. I think it's so much fun. Nice. Um, and then, you know, I love going out to the kink events that, are, that happen in Detroit. Um, a lot of the times they're like sort of bar events, which is funny because I don't smoke or drink. I'm a sober pup. But um, just <laughs> going out and like being fueled by the energy that is like sort of like the people and the friends within yeah. the community. It's like so much fun. Oh well, I'm 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 so happy that that you go out and actually get to enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. So, so now tell me about the 
events that might go on in the Ann Arbor? I know you said Detroit area. I, I'm guessing there's probably not a lot of pup events that happen in Ann Arbor. There's not a lot of events. Um, I've seen a couple of pups sort of like post like furry nights there at Necto or mm -hmm. sort of um sort of like um rubber bands there at Necto. Um, you know, it's um I wanna say that the pup community is super spread out throughout um um all of here in Michigan. You know, there's yeah. pups in the west, pups here in the center and on the east. I think sort of like talking about, I guess going back to that question about what I'd like to sort of like change or see within the community, at least here in Michigan, I'm sort of more events happening um, throughout all of Michigan. A lot of the times are usually on the east side of Detroit. So, you know, mm -hmm. some of the pups either here in central or on the west, they'll get to experience a lot of that. Yeah. And I think sort of like being able to sort of like move a little like more towards the west and like give those pups sort of the opportunity would be very nice. Um. You know, it's something that I think I'm planning sort of to do in future events. I'm also part of the Great Lakes Kennel Club. So hopefully we can also sort of like, you know, do more events out on the West as well to sort of like help bring more pups out so they can also enjoy that as well. All right. Well, and, and I know earlier you had mentioned um, being a title holder and I noticed that you have a sash back there. So tell me a little <laughs> bit about your, your title and everything. So... Uh, I'm the reigning 2024 Michigan puppy. It was, um, you know, I won this back in November, and I attended last year's so for my title that um, Pup Rexton won it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, something about just like I was already like sort of, I guess almost a year in the community by then, and I told myself like I want to do that. You know, I want to win a title, not because like I just wanted to win, but because. I saw sort of the history behind um, the title holders and like there wasn't really a Hispanic pup who won the title and I would attend the MIR and attended the People of Colors meetup. Um, somebody sort of gave some really good advice and sort of said like, if you want to make some difference, um, a lot of the times it comes with sort of representation and being seen. And if by me winning this title, I'm sort of motivate someone or bring somebody within the community Mm -hmm. I think that's already sort of a big win. So I told myself, you know, I was going to do that. I wanted to um, be also more present within the community. So I saw that as an opportunity. Um, I'm kind of glad I did because I ran unopposed that, <laughs> that contest. So if I didn't win, nobody would have won. Um, so I'm happy to have to carry on this legacy of Michigan Puppy. Oh, of course. And, you know, I think it's awesome. And, uh, and <laughs> congratulations to it. Thank you so much. And I definitely like my every year I, w I was told by so many people every title is different so um, what you do of it it's what you make of it and I have wanted to sort of be very visible and present so I attend as many kick events um, whether it's you know rubber or leather or targeted mm -hmm. towards you know um, gay men you know towards um women within our community like I think it's important to really be visible to everybody because yeah. um a lot of the time, pups really just want to attend just pup events, but there's so many events that, that, you know, everybody's welcome to, whether you're a pup or not. Yeah. Well, if there is, uh, I, I call them a public figure, and, and we're talking music, movies, political, just whoever it might be, past or present, that you can meet, who would you want to meet? Oh, wow. Um I don't know. Um, let's see. If I want to... I I love music. Music is something that means a lot to me. Uh -huh. There's definitely many of artists that, you know, um, are really nice. Um, but I do have one favorite artist of all time, and you can see her up here. Um, it is Amy Winehouse. Um, oh, she yep. is by far my all-time favorite um diva of all time so like you know her music is so amazing her voice is so amazing so i think to have that opportunity to um see her you know meet her would be like amazing um so that's one thing um i guess in terms of like i was going to bring into like sort of the community i just want to say that i've met so many wonderful people within our community as well through mm -hmm. sort of like 
events and things like that. So like, I'm very, very happy that I've like met so many wonderful people. Good, good. Well, if other pups would want to reach out to you because they saw you here, how might they get in touch with you? So I think the easiest um way is sort of through Instagram. I see a lot of pups on Instagram. Okay. So I think that's sort of like the best way. I also have a Facebook. Um, so either of the two are fine. Um, but the Instagram does have a link to my other social medias, which is sort of like reach out to. Um, I'm always happy to um talk to pups or people who are just interested in pet play. Mm -hmm. I always sort of put that out in the in the upfront when you know new people are reaching out to me. You know, I can tell them you know I'm a pup. And they're like, oh, that sounds interesting. I don't know if I can do that. So I always sort of like motivate them, like, you know, there's no reason why you can't. So I think like it's, it's sort of like, you know, feel free, they can reach out. And I think, I believe my social media name is like Pop Dirt Bound. So uh, that's you know, where they can, how they can reach out to me. So you see, it's Pup Dirt Bound on Instagram if they wanted to yes. find you. Awesome. Well, it was a pleasure getting to talk to you uh, this afternoon. Always love talking to pups everywhere, and uh, and everything. Any any last words uh, before we sign off here? Um, I just want to say, um, sort of to all the pups out there, like you know, you guys are all, um, you know, not just the pups, the pets as well, because you know it's important to sort mm -hmm. of start branching out more. Um, you know, I've met so many other people who don't identify as pups um they are like kittens and things like that um uh, i've met a lizard which is like amazing oh, so i think good. like to all the pets out there um you know we're all valid there is no reason why anybody should tell you you know you're not allowed to be what you want to be right. but i think it's important that we always um, value that and know that you know the, we are all valid and what we do. awesome well again a uh, pleasure talking to you and i know this won't be the last time Oh, absolutely. And thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Oh.